Hey, second grade, this is Mrs. Alar. You can't see me, but I'm right here above the camera. So what we're gonna be doing today is something that we do a lot in our fluency during our math time. So we know that when we're working on fluency that we often are working on our quick and mental math. That way, whenever we get to bigger problems, we're able to solve them quickly and accurately. So what we're going to do now is we are going to be working on skip counting. So when we skip count, we have to pay attention to the pattern that we see already happening, and then we have to think how we could add numbers to it. So this question is asking us to skip count by fives. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our pattern that already exists, and then we're going to work together to fill in the next numbers, the next five numbers in our pattern. So this number says 135. The next number that comes is 140. We know that when we skip count by fives, we're going to be looking at our ones place changing as well as our tens place changing in this pattern. You see that this tens place is changing as well as the ones place. When you're counting by fives, you're going to see a five or a zero in the ones place. And that is the pattern that we're going to be focusing on. So we see 135, 140. So we see a zero in the ones place here. We're counting by fives, and we have to go to 145. Now we see a five in the ones place here, and we keep on going with the pattern. Five, zero, five, zero. What I'm noticing is that we have 140, 145. We now have to change our tens place to get to 150. So when you're counting by fives, we see that we change our ones place. Our ones place is gonna be five, zero, five, zero. And then we're also changing our tens place. That is the pattern is changing as we are going up a 10 each time we get out of the 10 that we're already in. So we're at 150. We see 150 here, we get to 155. Now we see 155, I know that the next number is 160. Then after 160 is 165. So the pattern that I see here is five zero five zero five zero five in that ones place when I'm skip counting by fives. Now let's look at our tens place. We know that when we're counting by tens, our tens place is changing. So I know that when my tens place changes, it's going up by 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the pattern that already exists. 273, 283. I know that what tens place comes after 80, I know it's 90. So I know that my next number in the pattern is 293. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Because once I get to 293, I don't have any more tens to go up. After nine, we can't put a 10 right here. What we have to do is we have to regroup like we do in addition. And we know that when we're going up by 10, we have to go to a new 100. Our pattern goes back to zero. And our ones place stays the same. So now we have 273, 283, 293, 303. Now what we could do is we continue on with our pattern of our tens place going up. We have 313. We have 300, that was supposed to be a three, 323. And then we have 333. As you can see, when we're skip counting by tens, that tens place is going up. We have 70, 80, 90, go back. 10, 0, 10, 20, 30 in that tens place. So when we're counting by tens, starting at 273, it's 273, 283, 293, 303, 313, 323, 333. Last but not least, let's work on skip counting by 100s. When we have 144 here, we know that we're trying to have our rule is skipping, skip counting by 100. So when I'm skip counting by 100, we're going to go ahead and we know that we're changing our hundreds place. So we see 144 here. We know that we're changing our hundreds place when we're counting by hundreds, and our tens and ones place is staying the same. So I'm at 144, 244. 344, 444, and when I'm saying, okay, I'm going up by hundreds place, I keep on going. What comes after 400? We now have a 544. What comes after 500? We know it's 644. Now, here's what I would like for you to do. Taking all the work that we worked on here, 
I'm gonna have a couple of numbers on the bottom and I want you to work in your journal that you have found in your packet and I want you to try and complete the patterns that I write on the, on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and write them now. So what I would like for you to do is in your math notebook that you have at your house, I want you to figure out what number belongs in these two blanks. I want you to write the string of numbers down and I want you to fill in the blanks with the pattern that you notice what you think should go in those blanks. Thanks so much and have fun.